All right, tree. No. We're back. It's a dungeon this time. This was not here last time. Mm-hmm. Dun oh. That's weird. This is a version of our house. You're right. You want to take a look at the portrait? Yeah, it's just inverted colors. Fair. And yeah, there's our bed and our table and... Yeah, so essentially what they did was they extended the wall so that there was enough room for the staircase. And then Shikari's room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just that. You know, the interesting thing is we didn't see Blackberry in all of this. No, she hasn't tried to come to apologize to Shikari or really interact with anyone. Wait, this is Blackberries. Yeah, it's really messed up. Mm hmm. Are now we here's just the question is this going to be cardamoms? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's effectively like a messed up memory of the previous of one. Of all of the previous wielders. All the eyeballs. And the brush. Do we have to change colors to match it? I don't think we can. I think we just have to wait until it's vulnerable. You just focus on dodging. Mm hmm. Oh, this is, frankly, some very Undertale-esque music. I'm digging it. Ooh, it's really swooping. But once again, it's so much easier to, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. have someone dodging and someone slashing. Yep. Oh, how could I have? Remember, you also have the jump. Really? I don't yeah. know if I can actually jump jump over things. It's a burst of speed. So if you need to get away from something. Mm -hmm. I suppose it did keep me ahead. Because here's barely. the thing. Uh, it doesn't have perfect maneuverability when it's chasing you. Whereas you have perfect maneuverability. So you can kind of double back and mess it up. Ah! Oh, what? <laughs> it has a ah, custom ah, head! It me! Ha oh, they're the custom made outfits. Our custom shirt and our custom helmet. I, this is not what I was expecting, <laughs> frankly. It's weird to be murdering puppy me. Uh-oh. Now they're me. riding the brush. Yeah, it look like it. And look, they're using your custom symbol, too. Yep. Is it... Mimicking your yeah. moves? Uh, so when it's on the ground, I have to hit it with a mirror image brush. Was it yours? I was I was trying to figure out how to knock it off. Yes, but I think you just sent a wave that it could mimic, you know, mm -hmm. across the whole screen. Oh, there we go. I know how to harm it. 
Oh, you're you're doing the opposite side of the screen? Yeah. Marking it down? It's the mirror image of the brush. Oh. Evil chicory. Wow, that was really fast. Ah! I I can't. Told you. <gasps> yep. Curry, I owe you a pretty big thank you. Because after seeing you make one of these, I realized that I could too. Turns out, there's a lot I can do that I didn't think possible. I'm tired of feeling afraid and useless. I'm here for you this time. Let's take this thing down together. Uh, People are firing fireworks and they shouldn't be. They really shouldn't be. I wish they had given Chicory the inverted colors from what we had painted her because... It's hard to tell them apart. Oh, she picks you back up. Yeah. There we go. That's kind of loud. Oh, well. Blackberry. Yep. I think I have to wait for Chicory to lock her down. And she's all about very precise oh, patterns. Oh no! I got her. So we could free her. This is cool. And it's kind of a fun multitude of remixes of previous fights. Including their songs. Mm -hmm. I've been holding off on listening to the soundtrack to this game because, you know, didn't Don't want to spoil any oh! of the songs for me. Wow! Some of those patterns. Sheesh. I got her. Get out, get out. Oh, sorry. You do don't even focus on attacking. Watch your feet, nothing else. Oh, no, 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 no. How am I supposed to get out of that? Because you also cannot attack Blackberry until Chicory has locked her down. Mm hmm. Like that. Oh. Cardamom, the wolf, a bunch of other wielders. Might be going. Wielders. They're getting a lot more indistinct. Well, what is it doing? I think it's reverting all the way back to the original form. It's gonna come at us with every wielder through all of history. No big deal, right? Uh, if, if you believe in me, Chicory, well, even if you don't, I think we can do it! Ooh, all the roots. Oh, 
Papa has flaming laser sights. Ah ha ha! Oh, it just did a paint blotch of cardamom. I have no idea if I'm supposed to be bumping off this shield. I think I am. those. There we go. Bananas? Sending these blooms. I'm so curious with this if it's implying that it kind of spawned itself and brought color to the world or... Ow! Must have caught the tail end of those flames. Yeah. That's a cool pattern. I think I'm still kind of wishing it had a little bit more... I can I say sentience, but... I mean, I suppose it's just a kind of, it's mirroring your own self-doubt and anxiety. It's true. I just, I really liked, uh, oh, what was her face? What was the hero in the previous game's name? Ow! Yeah, remember Which you hero? can jump over them. What? Which hero? Yeah, Ian Wondersong. I mean, we called him Lion or Leon. No, 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 the hero. Oh, bar. oh! Was it Rachel? I don't think so. No. Amelie? Or, I don't know. I I, I get so many names. I just thought she was a genius uh, antagonist. Mm -hmm. Whereas she... She was the designated hero, deserved the role, treated yeah. everyone poorly because of it. Oh, look at that! Color! In the rain! Game by Greg Lemonov. Oh, and there Stream it goes. Zones. Music. Oh, look at that. All oh. the bad trees. They're still kind of grubbins looking, but they're less grubbins looking. Help of our lead artist, you. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> oh. I can't believe we actually did it. The brush is gone forever. Um, now that we've actually done it, do you think it's okay? This seems like kind of a big deal. That thing wasn't so special. If we both made new brushes, then I bet anyone can. Just have to teach them. Oh, is this about how there's the ongoing conversation that people have where, you know, oh, you're so talented versus, oh, you've worked so hard to achieve what you have. Kind of, yeah. But also the distribution of brushes to everyone. Mm -hmm. You know that... It is true that usually only... It's kind of an unethical to some degree to... Uh hoard all of this power to like one person mm -hmm. even if for the most part it's a beneficial dynasty or meritocracy and still having it limited to one person is a huge weakness well also i'm just thinking about how in much history pretty much only children of the elites could actually get educated in painting or at least the kind of fine art painting that resulted in portraiture yeah. and you know all of the you know wealthy patrons that mm -hmm. you know would patronize you know Leonardo and Raphael and yep. people of that nature but this is a whole art can be for everyone mm -hmm. if 
if people have the drive and the the will to learn and achieve it. Mm -hmm. hmm. Color could be free. Probably I, should be. Free. Or probably should be three. Sorry. I think whatever happens next is good. But it's not going to be easy to teach. I barely even know how I grew a brush myself. I could help you. But maybe not right now. I need a break. <laughs> I hear that. Let's just enjoy this for today. And tomorrow, we can change everything. Are these the colors that we put down, or are they colors that they put down? I think it's what we put down. Mm hmm. Because see how that one gift. Uh, maybe not that waterfall. I don't. Uh... No, I remember the waterfall turned brown, and I was upset about it. Right. Oh, there's the song. Mm -hmm. This was an absolutely adorable game, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. And the water has the pattern. Mm. Oh, is it? Yeah. It is remembering what, how we painted it in. Can you imagine? Yeah, back when we were still. When we didn't have the fill brush. And didn't know that you could hold down to spread. Mm hmm. It makes me feel bad for whatever scenes we may have chosen. Well, well, it may have chosen that we didn't actually bother filling in. Oops. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. It's interesting that Chicory... I, I suppose she did accompany us into the... into the final dungeon, so she doesn't have her colors anymore. Mm-hmm. Now this place, luncheon changed so often and so much. I'm wondering if they're only going to show the initial colors or all the other colors that we... No. Nope. <laughs> it's just showing... All of that. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is a neat way of doing it. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. We should probably pay attention. We're on this. Yeah. Oh, look at all those. All the dots. Luckily, we're we like at the very end. The red... Yellow. Oh, these must be all the Kickstarters then. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, look, Blackberry. Is she going to talk with Chicory? Well, at some point. Hopefully, approach her. Man, I'm blown away by the sheer amount of Kickstarters. Mm hmm. Like, I know it was a reasonably well <laughs> This is just going to be brown with yeah, just bleh, bleh, bleh of teal. Because <laughs> we had to keep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there it goes. All that, what, chocolate rain? Chocolate rain. Yep. Oh, there's the 12. The 12 is still there. That ruins the whole town square. <laughs> Why? Why is it there? <laughs> because I can. Uh, oh, hey, look. There's the dolphin that we found. Yeah. Now, I wonder if you weren't completionist and didn't find one of these areas, if they would choose a different yeah. area that you had completed. It probably just randomly picks from a list. Mm hmm Aw, that must be one of the oldest places because we were just trying to fill it in. Fill it in, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Wandering Shell, Wandering top shell. right. Yep, top right. I saw it. I was zoning out for like a hot second. Yep. Mm hmm. And there's the Wander Song Cockatiel. Mm hmm. Because they have to have that in there. 
Oh, and that's them hanging out at the beach. Oh, yes, it's here. Mm hmm. Is this the order in which we discovered everything? Yep, and then filled it in. Okay, we still have that one door that we never finished. Yeah, but what could we have... It's got to be a context clue. Mm -hmm. From the trees in the valley immediately beneath it? Maybe. That would seem awfully difficult. 90%? 20 hours. 20 hours and 90%. So what's the last 10%? One more brush style? One more brush style, probably a couple of outfits. The uh, one zone. Yeah, I don't know. And maybe all the mail carrier stuff. Yeah. And other I just, mini games. I... Oh, oh, also all those paintings. Yeah, and there there are a number of side quests that we did miss. Want to save a gift? Nah. Not of that one. Oh! That was Chicory! Thanks for playing Chicory! It was super cute. Oh, the music's a little pleasant. different. Yeah, it is. A little slower, a little bit more triumphant. Oh, it's gonna put me to sleep. This whole game puts me to sleep. So, for you... I mean, once again... The gameplay is... Ah! Oh, it looks like your controller ran out of juice. Yeah, my controller ran out of juice. Can well, you that's okay. at least put your controller on so that we can have a nice screen to look at? I am the controller now. Uh, so what I was going to say is I, I really like the, the puzzles and the game mechanics and the fact that, <clears throat> yeah, you really did have these really unique boss... I... I I wanted water. Oh. I desperately need water. Um but I mean, what did you did you like being brush number 2? I think it worked fine. I think uh a couple people called me out on this that I I'm definitely a bossy number 2. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, I mean that's part of the reason why I did do the backseating video was because that I am also a terrible backseater. That's just Hard not to be for me. Yeah. Whoa. Anyway. This doesn't want to fill in the screen completely. And then, what what do you think about the the variety of the cast? And it seemed like so many people had their uh, own I struggles think... that they were dealing with, and their own hopes and aspirations, and you know, in turn, were so inspired. I. I wonder if some of it is just that we had missed some stuff along the way, but I'll admit I missed the slightly more focused cast of the of Wander Song. Mm. You know, I think a lot of effort went into making the the townsfolk of what was the whole land called? Picnic. Picnic. I, uh, you know, I think a lot of work went into making the people of Picnic very dynamic, that they could show up anywhere and have. You know, something cute to say, you know, complimenting your art or just saying kind of whatever stuff. I thought that was really neat, but I wish more time had been spent on the characters. Like, remember the, uh, remember the violinist? Mm, mm hmm And... It just looks like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a weird parrot thing. Brock it can be a parrotfish. Anyway, um, <laughs> but like you remember the viol violinist in Wander Song, yeah? Mm-hmm. And like, how? Gosh, wasn't his like mother dead, and he was like really not confident? They or they? Sorry, um, I had forgotten about that. Uh, mm -hmm. but they weren't confident. There were some other things, and 
I mean, there was that whole band segment where it was the Bard and Miriam, like, hanging out, and she was just dancing, and they had this, well, like, very long heart-to-heart. Chicory and, and curry pizza, I suppose pizza would be the default name, but for us, it's curry. But for curry... They had that pizza scene. They had a number they, they had a of... And I think Chicory was good. I think I just wanted more of the supporting cast to feel as... Maybe not as developed, but a little bit more concrete. Uh, that I think it was just a matter of, like... The sister popped up here and there quite a bit. Yeah. Hmm. But that I, I still think I wish it had been slightly more focused. So a number of the characters could have had maybe a bit more of an arc. From the really... Oh, maybe maybe the uh, the art girl. The one that hated us. She oh. probably would have had more of an art arc if we had done the rest of the paintings. Yeah, maybe if we had completed all of them. It's just a matter of, like, time. 20, 20 hours is a long time for me to stick with the game nowadays. Just I might I might because. still finish the rest of the art, but not for the series. Yeah. I mean, even then, I'd just like to do And what did you think about the things. about the discourse or the points brought up about art and the nature of art and artists' relationship with their art mm. and with I wish... you know, their own expectations and the expectations well, that are I don't thrust know. on them. Because part of it is like you and I see art and all of these things through a different lens. And so to some degree, I think both of us were hoping that there would be more of a conversation about, you know, people kind of exploiting Chicory's good nature, mm. you know, to get to fulfill their desires, you know, the the pizza shop. I mean, the, the pizza shop guy was the example of it. Yeah. But I think they, they did bring up the good point that, and you had brought it up about when it had been broached, but the, do you have to be someone, do you have to be someone famous and, you know, successful and great? Yeah, and I brought it up a little bit. I wanted to talk about it more. I almost feel like this needs to be a video essay that I do at some point about the <laughs> idea of having to be special. That I, I think a lot of people get hung up on, I mean, would I say it's like main character syndrome? Well, I think the problem is... You know, in our world, there's the kind of, there's the school of thought that says, oh, it's a meritocracy and you are rewarded depending on how much work and effort you put into things, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, that doesn't take into account, you know, having better circumstances for your, you know, your childhood and whether or not you can afford some of the education opportunities and things that would help you along your path. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's just luck and being in the right place yeah, and whatnot. But the other thing too is, uh, if you think about it, so much of our media, and this includes art too, if you think of comics and novels and movies and music, like music and stuff, if you think about it, for the most part, like you can find your, you know, your indie titles and indie games and um, indie projects, and you know, people they, they might struggle with it for a while, and they might not. It, it might not be as successful as some other, you know, breakout star yeah. or game or thing, and so there is that feeling of. Inadequacy? Yeah, inadequacy if if you don't succeed as swiftly or there's the expectation that if you are successful as a creator, you have to be recognized and mm. not necessarily household name, but you have to be published. You have to, you know, have a certain number of fans. And if you think about it, with things like social media and such, it tabulates everything. Oh, this person has, you know, so many thousand subscribers or things of that nature. And people take those those numbers and and other measures of success and they effectively it, use it, it to give themselves a price tag as a as like a person. Like this is my value. 
Mm -hmm. You know, my value is 380,000 subscribers plus however much on Twitch. But, like, that means nothing. But I, I think just for so many people, it's just, like, even Chicory. Chicory was so... Or Chicory. Um, Curry. Curry was so upset about the idea of, like, she wasn't special. But, like, I thought originally that, to some degree, the reason why she succeeded so well was because she wasn't trying to be anything more than she was and was just trying to do the right thing in that. And that the final thing of, like, her wanting to somehow secretly be special. It just seemed to come out of left field. Yeah, it felt odd for her character because she might not have been stable, but she never came off as wanting to be special. Because she started off, you know, saying that she appreciated being a janitor because she there were tangible... Um, tasks and things could be accomplished easily. Well, not easily, but you know, you could tell that you accomplished something. Yeah. With art, you can finish a piece and it looks great, but unless it's received well, do you really feel like it succeeded? I hate that. I hate that when, you know, I spend 30 minutes on a sketch, it can get far many more like favorites than any <laughs> painting I took. I was griping on. about that the other day. Oh, with your vaccine I did, video? So I did two videos uh, that I put out on Wanderbot Prime this week. One on backseating and how it affects me as a, a person and as a creator. And we did a bunch of storyboards and anim like sort of an so animatic. So much effort went into it. Yep. Like easily 50 plus hours. Mm -hmm. Possibly more. I definitely wasn't as efficient as I could have been, but I, there was an amount of it that I was just like, not demoralized for, but I just, like, didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. uh Because it was just exhausting and hard. And then I did, like, a two-hour... Well, the video itself was, like, over, a little over an hour long. But it was, effectively, I sat down for two hours and made just an absolute quick and dirty... Here's an overview on the Steam sale. And they have equal views. And realistically, I think the Steam sale one might have passed it at this point. Mm -hmm. But there was just that kind of, like, uh, disappointment in my head of the Steam Sale one just being like, man, I, uh, why even try with the other one? But the answer is the other one has so much more, well, not watch time necessarily, but, like, engagement. Like, the Steam one only has 191 likes and 24 comments versus... The backseating one, which is 387 likes and 122 comments. Like, the, the sheer level of engagement on one versus the other is just astounding. Mm -hmm. But, you know, having that those numbers presented in such a way, it's just like... I put in all that effort and, you know, I I got a bad result. And it does stick with you a little bit. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it, it just it feels like it unduly it's a burden. cheapens everything. And... That you shouldn't be measuring your worth by... The, the problem is, of course, with, you know, capitalism and everything, you know, of course money... You do. Money uh, seems to be the determination. That was factor. actually something interesting that uh, Greg himself was tweeting about, that he kind of missed the old days where he was just pumping out these... I'm not going to say cheap, but these small experimental games with no... Expectations? Yeah. And that, you know... It didn't have to do a whole lot of back-end stuff. But now now that he is successful, he has all this other front-end stuff, and it's not just about making the game anymore. Mm -hmm. And that that was... A, not a bit of a downer, but it was... Wasn't quite as... Fun? As novel, probably. Yeah. As it used to be. And the thing is, for some people... Having... Having those pressures really does take the joy and fulfillment and excitement out of creating artwork. And I know that people say, well, it's unfeasible for you to just do what you love. Because, you know, people always say that and it's very rarely, you know, the th a thing that will be able to pay the bills and whatnot. But... I think when it comes to art, if you're if you're passionate about something, it will show through your work. But also, 
artists should really not be so hard on themselves. And it's only compounded, once again, with social media and everything. It was interesting. I think we had discussed this before about how when we were kids, we felt like we were the only drawers in the class. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think in my in my grade growing up in school, there are probably only maybe two or three other girls that drew quite a bit. Mm. And we all had different styles. One was, you know, very much anime manga. Another one was sort of the fine art, you know, drawing and painting still lives. And I was kind of that weird, you know, sci-fi fantasy concept art and more Western style comic book aesthetic, I suppose. Yeah. But, you know, that was before digital painting. We should finish this up, though. I'm sorry, a tired sorry. Headache. It's just and that honestly, so much of this needs to be a podcast. I, I know so much of it does. But what I was going to say is that um, at the end of it, you know how they were talking about the whole feeling special and how there were all of these. It almost seemed like gatekeeping the barriers that Blackberry and others were trying to put up to limit the number of artists in the world and such and how they could feel you know threatened or I don't know maybe not threatened so much but so it's interesting when you're faced with you know the world and there are so many more people starting far earlier than us with digital painting and tablets and whatnot and I'm astounded at you know seeing tweens and teens that are you know digitally painting yeah. when i mean that didn't exist for us nope. <laughs> but it's one of those things where a lot more people have access to tutorials online and a whole bunch of resources and technology that just wasn't possible you know 10 20 years ago and it really has opened up the world to so many more types of art and artists. And I suppose the whole thing is, yeah, artists finding their their niche and expressing themselves in a way that makes them happy. I was going to say sets them apart, but then that sort of feeds into the whole they have to be special and stand out and unique and etc. So I don't know. I, art itself is a journey. I, I remember that reading a quote that producing art is, I mean, you go into it and you don't know how it's going to turn out. You might have a vision in your head, but as you create the piece, it sort of takes on its own life and it changes. So you don't really necessarily know the outcome. Kind of a product of faith, in a way, and your own determination. But yeah. So, and th that's why I, I really feel that creators of, you know, all varieties, they, they definitely deserve more respect than they get because they get to create all the wonderful and beautiful things yeah. around you from the, the music that you're listening to the imagery and the you know the you know the games that you're playing like the movie the, you watch the movie we watch the shirt with the cool design that you like <laughs> the user interface on your computer and your phone you want to see what a life without artists is like Oh, look at Windows 98. <laughs> Windows 95. Hey. Shit, DOS. There you go. <laughs> no, go no, look at DOS. You'd have to go all the way back there, because at least Windows had some, what? Gosh, Windows 95. <laughs> no, wasn't there, like, a Windows that straight up had, like, McDonald's colors? Ew, no, no. I, I, that was before, before our Windows. I think the first Windows we had was 95.
I yeah. forget. Well, and, anyway. And, and pay your artists. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so with all of those ramblings out of the way, I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on Greg's next game. <laughs> and if you somehow have not seen our Wonder Song series, please go watch it. There's a lot of context, and also that game is amazing. But for now, I go to bed. <laughs>